Hello, it's Helder here, and today I'm going to talk to you a bit more about the console vault, and specifically two things. One is the install of this new Elite Lock that I picked up in order to replace the existing lock that I have on my console vault, and the second thing I wanted to talk to you about is this month of May is their Military Appreciation Month. So generally, there is a 10% discount at all times for military personnel as well as veterans. And during this month of May, you can actually get 20% off the console vault end products if you are a veteran or active duty military personnel. Now, as far as tools, uh, relatively simple for replacing this lock. They recommend a 7 8 socket. I do not have one handy, so I'm going to use an adjustable wrench. You're also going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. You can also position it. There's a little uh, set screw here that you'll be able to either rotate to the left or to the right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try and do this alongside with you. And let's see how it goes. So first off, we have the screw here, which is a Phillips. And we want to go ahead and unscrew that. And once we got that all off, time to use the wrench. All right, so installing the new Elite Lock. Logo is going down towards the hinge. Little pressing button is facing the driver's side. And the lock set button is facing the passenger side. Lined up, which is pretty good to go right now. We're gonna take the washer, go ahead and install that. Next, collar nut. Hand tighten it first. Okay, ready for the wrench. Once again, much easier if you use a socket and a pinch. This will do. Just gotta be a lot more careful. There is a square in this lever, so you wanna match that up with the screw that has a square that this affixes to. Okay, from there you have your Phillips screw. Get that in there. Get your driver. Once again, no need to over tighten. And your Elite Lock is on. Okay, so time to set the new combination. Default is four zeros. So if I set that to four zeros and hit the button, you can tell that the lever now opens, all right? Free spinning, hit the lever with the right combination, four zeros, which is the default, and you're able to open the safe. Now from here, what I wanna do is set the new combination. And to the right side here of the dialer, let's say the passenger side, there is a button that you can depress and depress it, let's say with a ballpoint pen press in that button and now I can go ahead and pick a new code let's say I want it to be one zero three three I would let go of that button and now that as you can tell here once I press it in would be the new code one zero three three nice and smooth I do like the look of this new lock. I do like the features. Uh, I think it makes the overall safe look that much better. So that process of swapping out and installing the Elite Lock was relatively painless. It took about 10 minutes, and that's because I didn't have the right tools, and also looking through a viewfinder on a camera. So I'm sure you could actually get it done even much faster. And uh, keep in mind, this is Military Appreciation Month. I always like to support those that support us. And uh, if you're a veteran, and or if you know a veteran or active duty military, make sure you tell them about this. They could get 20% off the console vault products. And remember, military personnel 
veterans always get 10% off uh, from Console Vault. You want more information? Make sure you check out my blog post where I'll have all the links and other information that you'll need for the Console Vault.